Hi Pisces, welcome to Angels and Ancestors and this is your reading for the 19th to the 25th of January 2019. Um, your What the Fuck reading um, is a spread devised by me, I'm quite happy for anybody else to try it out if they want to. Um, we're going to start my lovelies by getting you an energy card, I've just noticed that the candles are all going out so Pisces how you been doing this week let's see what energies are around you for the following week the 19th to the 25th of January I have an energy card for Pisces please Okay. Contract Pisces. Wow. Okay. So, my lovelies, let's see what started. The what the fuck? And can I have a card for the current situation, please? What's been going on with Pisces? And what started the what the fuck? Yeah. When I started the reading, I got a little bit muddled with my words and a bit apprehensive. So I don't know if there's some energy coming through that you're apprehensive about something, Pisces. But I'm definitely getting that feeling that um, you might be reserving judgment on something. So can I have a first aspect for fuck Pisces that's facing the fear and taking the fucking power back? There's two cards, I will take them because sometimes they tell us a bit of a story around the issue. So the second aspect is, fuck, I'm not taking that many. Um, what you've been manifesting, your wish fulfillment, and why this may be fucked, lovelies. So can I have um, what Pisces has been manifesting, please? Their wish fulfillment. Thank you. Wow, okay. And can I have um, the movement card, their journey, and where the fuck you need to be, Pisces? Even the cards don't really want to shuffle that well. They're kind of hesitating as well. Do you know I'm going to take that one? Okay. Um, what the fuck you can do about the situation, Pisces? Can I have a card for what Pisces can do to sort the situation out? The one that flew across the room. Oh, it's two. We'll take the two. Oh, wow, okay. So, my lovelies, the next card is what you can't do about the situation. Okay. And then we have don't give a fuck reconnecting to the true you. Cool. 
And then we've got what the fuck is happening next, the outcome for Pisces for the 19th to the 25th of January. Can I have an outcome card for Pisces, please? Okay. Right, my lovelies. Well, what started, what the fuck? You've got the Queen of Famies, and like I say to everybody, Queens and Kings... These energy, I work with energies, so it will be an energy that comes across as the Queen of Athamis. So it could be that this is a woman, it could be part of you because you may have an air sign within your chart. Um, but this particular Queen, she she's a thinker, she's a thinker, but she's got that knife in her hand and she doesn't mind cutting things out if it's necessary and I'm kind of getting the feeling that this is probably somebody else I'm not getting the feeling that this is you so it could be male or female but they really have got no problems with cutting things out and um, getting rid of dead weight basically but they are, they do think about it they, they do have this process of thinking um, in their heads because they're being an air sign um, they are processors, they are thinkers, they are starters of things. Um, so lovelies, kind of like think about who it may be, whether it is you or not. Um, and perhaps the situation is, is that you've cut something away, some um, dead undergrowth that you just needed to get rid of to in order for the sun to come back in and... Um, allow your thought processes to clear being a water sign you really have the inclination to go to the depths rather than face um, what's up the top of the water so the first aspect facing the fear your fears taking the fucking power back you've got the holly king lovelies and this would indicate to me that spiritually you're trying to find yourself, you're going on a bit of a quest um, and this is how you intend to take your power back is to go on this quest to, to find the inner true you um, and it also indicates that you know this is a winter card as well, I know we're in the winter but it could be that you're coming to the end of something, something um, has died off and is renewing so kind of look at the house in the background there may be somewhere that is offering you some sort of sanctuary away from the cold so the second card gosh the second card that came out you really are trying to face these fears aren't you head on head on um, you've got the high priest. The high priest knows his stuff. He can see it, do it, think it. He's got the standing stones for protection. He's drawing down that sun as it emerges out of those clouds, that energy. He knows how to use that. He knows how to cast spells, make lotions and potions and make things better. But because this is you taking your power back, you really... Pisces, you really fucking mean this, don't you? You are, this is a real, strong, massive quest for you. You really fucking mean I'm taking my power back. I'm taking it back. I'm not, there, there's no nonsense. Um, I'm getting that this possibly could be you cutting away, the dead weight cutting away. Um, the dead heads and and having done of it um, you know there's choices in front of, of blades as well um, she stands in the knowledge that she knows where she needs to be she knows what she needs to do and you are certainly bloody well doing that aren't you wow Pisces that's powerful that is powerful so lovely is your second aspect, what you've been manifesting, your wish fulfillment and why this may be fucked. Darlings, 
And the clouds are parting. This is a new beginning. This is a wand. It's the Ace of Wands. This is a new beginning. The clouds are parting. The sun is coming through. That wand is drawing down the energy and it's producing these wonderful choices for you with these succulent cherries at the bottom. And I think the reason that this could be a, a bit fucked, I'm not going to say it's massively fucked, is you may be, after this, and standing in this massive power, you may be thinking, I don't need a new beginning, actually. What I need is to be fucking left alone. Um, don't knock this new beginning, whatever this is. Um, it could be a fire sign. Uh, it could be you. It could be a whole load of things, but... Whatever it is, it's parting the clouds. The dark clouds are, are, are clearing and the sun is shining through. Lovelies. I'm trying to get a sense of why you would cut the dead weight away. Stand in this massive fuck off power. And then... You're not throwing the new beginning away by any way, shape or means, but you are kind of looking at it with some degree of doubt, with some degree, even, um, do you know, I've just been given the word complacency, oh, it's another new beginning, oh well. Has this happened to you many times over? Has this, is this something that you kind of go through, um, put yourself through because this this particular new beginning is positive massively positive i'm looking at the other cards it's massively positive but you are just looking at it like oh i don't care i don't care I'm not interested i'm standing in my fucking power and i don't care about the new beginning so lovelies moving round, we have got uh the movement card your journey where the fuck you need to be you have the star. The star is your wish fulfillment. Okay. Whatever it is you've been wishing for, it's here. You've been manifesting this new beginning. And then you've got straight after that your journey, your wish fulfillment. Really? She's also standing in water and the water is eternally flowing, lovelies, which means that she's standing in healing waters. She's looking at the star and making those wishes and the cards are telling me that's exactly where you need to be. You need to be. Don't ignore standing in your power, but you need to use this power for your good. Get rid of what is no longer serving you. That's what she's all about. And you need to use that power to draw to you what it is that you really want out of life. And there is no problem with manifesting and wishing for the stuff that you want. And don't get into begging. Just manifest. Even scribe it. If that's easier for you to deal with than understanding the processes of manifesting, um, you can scribe it. Now, when you're scribing, it's better to do it in your handwriting. And it's better to do it in something that you are going to be able to look at every day and sometimes twice a day when i scribe for something that i need rather than i want i look at it two or three times a day i read it out loud even if i look like a pillock in the car i will read it out loud so i will write it on a piece of paper i do write it and copy it into one of my books because i like to look back at what i've manifested and what has come to fruition um, but that's something else that you can happily do on your journey to this so lovelies um what you can do about the situation now darlings you've got the six of wands in front i don't know what's in behind because i haven't looked at it um you've got the six of wands now this is accolade this is coming back triumphant this is coming back and facing the crowds of people who admire what you have done and how you have done it so i don't know it may be something that you're going through and something to do with contracts 
um, that you are pushing forward and you're successful at and you are able to come back and feel quite triumphant and the accolade that you're getting it I'm kind of getting that you know you may be heading towards some sort of an award um, it may be a community award it may be something slightly bigger but I'm kind of getting the feeling that because you need no not need that's the wrong word because the situation needs your attention and it needs you to understand about standing in your power and not smacking a new beginning in the gob and that the wishing is okay, the manifesting is okay, asking for what you want and what you need is okay. I think that's your journey. It's telling you, stand in the healing waters because it will all come round. And this, this is what you can do about it. You can, you can go out there and say, I've done this. I've done this. I've overcome all of this. I don't even know what this is because it's not telling me. Um, but my guess is that because you've got the contract, um, this is either a relationship that's come to an end and you're standing your power over it or it's a job that's come to an end um, suddenly and abruptly and you're standing in your power so strongly that you've been able to take this on head on and people have really appreciated that you've paid this way for something else to happen out of this so something good is going to come of whatever this issue that you've had is and behind it you have got the seven of chalices darling you've got choices to make you've got there's several choices on the table for you it's not just about a new beginning there are several choices be careful there are people whispering um and that will make you doubt your choice go with your heart go with your gut go with your intuition do you know, I say to people, listen to sound advice. Don't listen to whispers and gossips. So the two together, the six of wands and the seven of chalices, is telling me, and that was behind that. So the accolade and the coming back from whatever it is that you did, that you're coming back feeling triumphant, feeling like you've achieved something, will then lead to these choices that you need to make. But don't listen to gossips and whispers. Take good advice if you need to. But go with your heart, your instinct, your gut, your intuition. That's what you can do about the situation. And you know, your intuition, I'm telling you right now, is quite high, isn't it? Really, you think. So, my lovelies, the next card that we've got is the number six, is what you can't do anything about, what is out of your hands currently. It can change later on, but currently it is fixed. There's nothing you can do with it. Five of the Thames. Now, this could be either somebody else trying to impress their visions, their thoughts, their feelings, their processes, the way they do stuff onto you, or it could be that you've just had a gut full of everybody else and you're standing in your power and right now you're using that power to kind of impress your thoughts and feelings onto other people. Careful how you do it. If this is you and you're trying to get your point of view across, please try to accept that other people have got a point of view and somewhere in the middle of the two, you can come to a compromise you do not have to go into loggerheads with people now if this is somebody else doing this to you don't back off for them you know stand your ground stand in your power you've got it you have got it you've got standing in your power and whoever this is that is trying to cut you off at the knees don't let them tell them to fuck off and I am getting that this is somebody else doing this to you. Somebody else is trying to force their opinions onto you. And it's, it's not on. It really isn't. They're trying to... And I've just heard they're trying to teach you how to suck eggs. Tell them to go fuck themselves. Honestly. Honestly. 
But at the moment, there's nothing you can do about it. There is nothing you can do about it. You can work on all of this, but this, at the moment, you may be stuck with this just for a little while longer. But you can still tell people to fuck off. I mean, I would, but then that's just me. So, your number seven card, don't give a fuck, the reconnecting with the true you. You've got the seven of pentacles. So, darling, you want to put the work in, not just for yourself, but other things as well. This is working hard for a better future. This is you, you're coming out of the apprentice stage. You are now um, an experienced craftsperson. You are heading towards um, becoming a grand master, if you like. But you've got more choices to be made here. You've got choices here in the cups and you have got choices here around work, money, home, all of that sort of stuff. The choices of your cups is wisdom, knowledge, love, truth, all of that sort of stuff. Um, this one, you're working hard and the reconnection to the true you is to work on something that's really close to your heart, something that gives you great joy and that you, you take pride in this. This is something you really love to do and you have got the ability to make money from this. So that's how you are going to reconnect to the true you and the outcome my lovelies for you my pisces is the harvest you sowed many seeds over many years and you keep saying when's it going to happen when's it going to happen it's just about to happen the thing is with harvests you have got annuals in there you have got biannuals in there you've got apples and pears and you can't plant an apple and a pear tree and expect to harvest on the first year i planted a cherry tree about 20 years ago and um the first harvest didn't come on it till five years later and the cherries were so incredibly bitter that we kind of left the cherries and the birds love them they just have a feast you should see it when they're doing it. So every autumn I kind of look out for the cherries on the tree and I look for those birds coming in to have that feast. And it's such a sight. I've never gone down and tasted to see if they're sweet or not now. But the birds love them. So this harvest is coming in for you, my darlings. The only thing that you need to do, you have got celebrations and you've got somebody waiting at the door for you. Um, which tells me you've got a sanctuary to go to, which is your second one. And this is the winter card with the sanctuary. And this one is the autumn card with the sanctuary. So, my lovelies, the only other thing that this card would indicate is because you're having this harvest come in, you need to start thinking if you're not already thinking about the new seeds you're going to sow for the next seasons, the next years to come. There you have it, my lovelies. I'm just going to look at the bottom of the deck for you because, do you know what, this is such a strong, massive reading. It really is. And I really don't, I'm not going to take a lot by this because I think you're standing in your power and although there's nothing you can do about this at the moment, I'm getting the feeling that the person that is interfering, trying to put their point of view across to you and make you understand their thoughts and feelings, you are able to take that on the chin. You are able to turn around, look at that person go, yeah, and although you can't do anything about them. So, and it may be you can't do anything about them because that's their personality and it's not your job to do anything about them. Oh, well. At the bottom of the deck, you've got the Lord of Shadows. Wow, wow, wow. The Lord of Shadows basically just tells you to emerge. There's the butterfly. Step out of the shadows and into the light. What a way to finish the reading. Pisces, please like, share and subscribe, lovelies. I will see you in the next reading next week. Take care of yourselves till then. Bye for now.